Hello, my name is Michaela Warriabi. I am a makeup artist with I Make You Beautiful and assistant to Danessa Myricks. I'm here just to chat with you guys a little bit about an amazing product that just premiered with I Make You Beautiful. It is the Magic Touch Sponge. It is the new ultimate tool in complexion perfection. It comes in this super cute little paint can um, to prep you uh, for painting faces. Um, the way you open it, it's sort of intuitive, but not necessarily to everyone. Take a little washer, you slide it into the nook between uh, the top and the paint can, and you just push upwards and it pops right open. It comes with four sponges that are reusable. You can easily wash them with your favorite face wash and they'll be perfectly clean and you can leave them out to dry. Basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a three step process with the Magic Touch sponge. First, I'll show you all how to use the sponge in doing a full contour application, but I'm just gonna do one side of my face so you can see how amazing um, the actual finish left by the Magic Touch sponges is going to give you an incredible poreless finish. And then I'm going to do an application for everyday wear, just basic concealer and a little bit of powder. And then I'm gonna show you how the Magic Touch sponge works with some of my favorite products and some of the industry faves right now. All right, so now I'm gonna move into doing a contour application of just a basic cream foundation product. I have a little bit of Miron HD Celebre cream foundation on my palette and of course my magic touch sponge So I'm just gonna tap a little bit of product on the sponge and a little bit goes an incredibly long way And I'm just going to apply in a sweeping motion. It's really important to apply Cosmetic products with the magic touch sponge in a more massage like motion as opposed to stippling and that's what really gives you that poreless finish so as you can see I've applied that bit of foundation in a pretty large area and it almost still looks like skin. And that's what's really great about the Magic Touch Sponge. I'm just going to apply a little more and I'm gonna bring it a little further down to where the areas I wanna highlight. And I'm just slightly blending the edges as I go along. Next, I'm gonna go right into my second complexion product using the same sponge, which is another feature that I love about the Magic Touch is that I can use the same sponge for several different color complexion products without compromising the previous colors. So I'm just going to start doing a sweeping motion around my jawline and bringing it up to meet the highlighted areas. And as you can see, upon application, I'm actually blending the makeup right into the previous color that I applied. This saves great time, especially when you're working on set with lots of models or with a large bridal party because you don't have to go back and blend and a little bit of product goes a long way. And I'm just simply gonna drag over that area. And as you can see, I'm getting a incredibly natural finish while applying a large amount of makeup and it's blending almost immediately into the other color. And here we have it. So as you can see, on the right side of my face, I've applied a full coverage foundation, um, just as a small reminder, the Miron HD Celebre foundation in three different shades. Um, I highlighted the area under my eyes, my chin, my nose, as well as my forehead, and contoured the side of my cheek all with the same sponge um, and it gave, as you can see from the left side to the right side, it gives an incredible poreless finish while still giving you full coverage. As you can see, my skin is much smoother and more even toned on the right and, you know, still nice, but not as flawless on the left side. So that's the magic of the Magic Touch sponge. So I did a complete foundation application uh, in the style of contouring on the right side of my face, showing you the very poreless application of a cream complexion product. And just like you would in a regular makeup application, I'm just taking a little bit of loose powder, some Ben Nye powder and banana. Everybody loves banana. 
and some in chestnut, and I'm just literally going to press it into the highlighted areas of my skin. I'm pressing initially as opposed to massaging as I explained earlier, because I don't want to move my foundation. But once I've pressed the powder in, I can literally take a sweeping motion, massaging just like I did with the cream to actually set my foundation. With the same sponge, I can go into my second powder color, chestnut, and I'm going to press it into my skin and then apply the same sweeping motion. And that's the really, Part of the key to getting that poreless finish is to make sure that you massage products into the skin. And I'm also going over my lines of demarcation, further blending. And I'm just gonna do that all over my face. And warming up areas that were highlighted. allowing for an airbrush-like finish.